Hello guys, uh, welcome again to the channel. Today I am going to share with you some of the information I found regarding the recent Russophobic um, activities and attitudes in, in culture again uh, after the, the invasion of Ukraine and this is uh, just one of those. Uh, it is about a concert that uh, Ironically, this was a concert in support of Ukraine and it was cancelled because they didn't like that the group was uh, using balalaikas. This is a um, Russian article which it was translated to English and it is uh, actually a little bit ridiculous. If you can see the name of the group, the name of the group is actually you will be able to see it here Sodra Bergens Balalaikor so this is the name of the group so part of the name of the group includes the word Balalaika so why were they surprised that they were using Balalaikas I am not um, I don't understand really so this is uh, what, what they wrote. They say that the balalaika is a symbol of Russia and playing the balalaika for Ukraine is a sacrilege and they compare it with a swastika. Now is uh, Nowadays everything that has some remote uh, connection with Russia or Russian culture is a swastika. So this is just um, completely, non completely ridiculous. This is complete nonsense in my opinion. There is nothing positive about uh, trying to make this uh, something that will stay with us for a long time just to say that anything that is Russian is uh, a swastika is uh, just ridiculous and for you for those of you who don't know Ukraine and Russia share a culture this culture is called Slavic culture so just to say that balalaikas are Russian is completely ridiculous. So this is a photo of the group Sodra Bergens Balalaikor and uh, as you can see this group is uh, formed by a number of people just, and they are singing uh, folk songs and they were just cancelling their their concert. You know. I'm sure they were a surprise as I am for this uh, situation. I just don't see it in any positive way. And uh, there there was this uh, other piece of information where pro Ukraine is proposing to ban all Russian songs. Uh, um, basically the performance of Russian songs in the media and public places. Uh, this is uh, another initiative. Just cancelling Russian culture. This is uh, from an um, Irish orchestra, they are banning Russian works. So any Russian composer, it doesn't matter if the composer was born 100 years ago, 200 years ago, they are just banning everything that has to do with the Russian culture. Tchaikovsky, you know, is uh, Yes, beyond ridiculous, uh, you know, this complete nonsense, uh, but they keep doing it. I don't know how is this going to benefit anyone, but they keep doing it anyway, you know. And this is the same, uh, this is the English version of that article where I was uh, mentioning that uh, they are creating this uh, law and prohibition of uh, music by Russian performers on radio and television, probably also in social media. This is uh, not so recent, it's uh, from 12 March 2022, where uh, they were writing these uh, tweets against uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine, and uh, they're also against Belarus, you know, they so they suspended all their songs uh, from Ukraine and uh, David Gilmore because of uh, the events of uh, Ukraine. So I don't know how is this going to help anyone, but anyway, they are doing it. 
This is a statement from Pink Floyd to stand with the world in strongly condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the works of Pink Floyd um, and those of David Gilmour are being removed from all digital music providers in Russia and Belarus from today. So, and then this guy David Gilmour, he went further and he says that Putin must go. So I don't think that will be going very well. He's, uh, not going to be taken in any positive way. And then there is this uh, a little bit ridiculous story, um, somehow funny, somehow not so funny. This is the Russian version of the article and this is about Google Translator when when you were writing Dear Russians, they, they were suggesting that maybe you meant to say dead Russians. So this is a screenshot of this uh, particular issue, if you can see it here. So this is what uh, was being shown in the translator. So what this means is maybe you meant to say dead Russians and maybe they corrected that already because when I tried to reproduce this issue I wasn't able to do it but anyways um, really concerning that even big companies are doing this kind of thing that is uh, just very immature, very stupid I don't know what is gaining, what is being gained from this uh, campaign this article is from Russia, uh, the same issue that we were reporting from Reuters and they say that they, when they tried out it wasn't showing this option, you know, so maybe they already corrected it. And this is about a story uh, from a woman that was in the center of Milan with her son walking and she was attacked by uh, apparently Italian citizens um, that were um, supporting Ukraine. These are some photos of this event and they were screaming at the woman and she was with a child and they were frightening the boy with their aggressive behavior and uh, there is, they say there is a video of this uh, particular incident um, they were shouting in Italian and the woman replied that uh, she's living in this country and she has the same rights as, uh, as the people that were you know, attacking her for nothing else more than because she's uh, Russian you know there is uh, no other reason and she was talking to her boy using these words why are you crying? look here Am I crying? Look at me, I'm Russian and you're Russian. Uh, probably this is mistranslated, uh, it's probably they say, do you understand? Now we have seen their true face, but they can do anything to us. The woman says, explaining to her child, why you should never forget about your homeland. So this is uh, something that is systematic, that is uh, uh, really concerning. I, I don't see this in any positive way. I, I don't see what can be gained from cancelling uh, sporting events, uh, participation of people from, U from Russia in mu musical events or any kind of artistic expression or sports. Yes, uh, uh, because they're Russian. There's no other reason at all. You know, there's uh, you're trying to cancel Russia and Russian citizens, not uh, this is not aimed at the ruling elite, they are just uh, cancelling and punishing ordinary citizens of Russia because of this. So let me know what, what is your opinion, what do you think about this, uh, and if you want to ask any questions uh, please write in the comment sections uh, of this video. And as always, uh, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you again in the next one. Thank you for watching.